Got another NMR question for you to try. So this is number 10 now. There it is there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so make a start then. So you'll notice I've jotted a couple of things down already. So we know it's an ester, so it must have this functional group. And the mass spectrum has a molecular ion peak at M over Z164. So that tells us the MR of the ester is 164. So the bulk of the marks obviously is processing the NMR spectrum. So like I always do, I'm going to take each signal in turn and I'm going to comment on the splitting pattern, the area and the shift value. Okay, so we'll start with this signal here. So this is a multiplet. The other thing I want to say straight away is because of that shift value between 7 and 8, we've got a couple of options. It could be an aromatic hydrogen, so a hydrogen bonded directly to a benzene ring, or it could be an OH hydrogen. Now, straight away, we can rule out the OH hydrogen for two reasons. One, it's a multiplet, and OH signals are always singlets. And two, an OH signal would have an area of one. This has got an area of five. So these are aromatic protons. Now, we're not expected to analyze the splitting pattern of um, aromatic signals, so we don't need to comment on that. All we do need to say is that the area of 5 tells us that we've got C6H5. We've got five protons uh, in this um, aromatic environment. In other words, we've only got one attachment, one substituent on the benzene ring. Okay, so I've just summarised that. So delta 7.3 ppm, the shift value tells us we've got aromatic protons. And I've just a little reminder there why we've ruled out OH protons. The area is 5 and it's a multiplet. And a little bit about the area. So the area 5 tells us we've got C6H5. So in other words, we've got one substituent on the benzene ring. So moving on to this signal now. So this is a triplet. So there's an adjacent CH2 to the protons causing the signal. The area of 2 tells us that it's a CH2 group that's causing the signal. And the shift value of, what's that, 4.4 is the H to C to single bond O environment. So H to C to single bond O, which is obviously on the right hand side of the ester group the way I've drawn it. Okay, so now we've got that, we can draw up this little part of the ester now. So we know that we've got two hydrogens, obviously on a carbon, bonded to that oxygen. So that's likely to be the ester group. And adjacent to these, we've got a CH2 group. So obviously that's caused that signal at 4.4. And these two protons here have caused the splitting pattern of the triplet. So if we move on to this signal now, so I'm saying this is around about delta 2.9 ppm. So again, we've got another triplet. So there's an adjacent CH2 to the protons causing this signal. We've got an area of two. So there's two protons causing the signal. And in terms of the shift value, well, we've got two sort of environments at play at the moment. We've got the um, hydrogen bonded to a carbon, bonded to a benzene ring, or we've got a hydrogen bonded to a carbon, bonded to a C double bond O. Now, if we go to what we've already established, it's looking like this signal at 2.9 ppm is due to these protons here because they would have an area of two and they would also be split into a triplet. So it's most likely that we've got a benzene ring on the left-hand side there. So there's the analysis of that signal written up now, and that's what I'm saying in terms of structure. So if we move on to the final signal we've got, so I'm saying this one's at delta 2.2 ppm. It's a singlet. So there are no adjacent hydrogens to the ones causing this signal. The area of three is telling us that it's a CH3 group that's causing the signal. And the shift value is H to C 
to C double bond O. So it's obviously um, on this side of the ester group that we have drawn it. So we must have a CH3 group bonded here. So it looks like that's the structure of the ester. So we just need to do one final check. We need to work out the molecular formula and check that its MR is 164. If it is, then it's looking likely that that's the answer.